I don't want a lot for Christmas. There's only one thing that I need. It's the Pico 8 Christmas 2023 bundle. Let's give it a look. Welcome to Pico Playtime, the video series where I play through some cool Pico 8 games to show to you lovely people. It's Christmas time, there's no need to be afraid. At Christmas time, we let in light and we play some Pico 8. Uh, today we are going to be playing the Holiday Bundle 2023 0.4 by The Tomster and Friends. Um, bit, of a, bit of an explanation about this whilst we uh, listen to the lovely music. So, every year, or the last few years anyway, I think we've done every year, um, there has been some sort of Christmas event on Pico 8. Um, it started off as an advent calendar, so every single day there would be a, a new project, some big project, some small. Um, last year there was a 12 days of Christmas, so there's just 12 projects. This year, because we didn't have enough developers, um, we had to have fewer than that, so we just made it a bundle instead. I say we, because I actually joined in this um, and this project this year. So this is the first time on Pico Playtime where I'm talking about one of my own games. Um, so yeah, we are in the navel gazing stage of the Pico Playtime cinematic universe. Um, let's get into it then. So we are on the launcher here. So this is um, what I'm gonna, this is the link that's gonna be in the video description. This is the launcher. So these are all the different projects. Um, you can see there are many. And there are more to come. Yes, if you check back on this tomorrow, and I think on the 25th as well, on Christmas Day, um, there'll be more projects, and um, there are some big names um, coming up. Um, it's a bit like a music festival. Um, you've got the smaller acts that come on near the beginning, and then you have the big headliners at the end, when everyone's actually paying attention. And how convenient. The uh, rather jolly little music ditto is fading out there which hopefully will very nicely bring us into the first game. So, let's have a look then. Our first game is Present Rapper, and it's by The Tomster. Wait a minute, that's the guy that did this whole th cart thing. This is the guy that organises it, yeah? Um, so yeah, this is, um, this is The Tomster's game. It's a solitaire-inspired gift-wrapping puzzle. Yes, I could read what's on the screen, in case you can't be bothered. Um, let's press X to play then. Let's get folks on the window and then press X to play. So professional. So the way this um, this works then, all the different games, all the different um, projects are um, uploaded to the BBS and then this, the wrapper cart um, kind of launches into them. So it's like a kind of awesome multi-cart extravaganza. Um, oh, this music is nice. This music is very nice. Uh, one uh, sort of one slight issue, I suppose you'd say, with the, the way that this um, um, the way that this project's organised is that it's not entirely clear always um, who um, is making certain games. I suppose because um, you don't necessarily see the kind of full credits and things. So apologies if I'm missing off anyone really important who contributed to this project or any of the projects today. Um, so here we are in present wrapper. Um, I think I'll be able to use the controller for this. Yes. Right then, so this is a kind of... What do you call it? Well, it describes it as a solitaire kind of puzzle game. Um, we have got to assemble the presents. So we have got a bottom of the box, the middle, a lid, a bow, and the actual gift inside. And you have to stack them in the, uh, the right order. So you pick up a, a, an item, you can see there, we can only put, um, we can't put anything on top of bowls because they get squashed. Um, so that's kind of part of the box there. And then we get the uh, the bear. Stick that in there, look, there we go. Put the lid on. Nice. And then we put the bow on top. And we've made a good job. And immediately, things get so much more difficult. Um, yeah, this is quite a tricky little puzzle game, this. Um, a lot of fun though, well presented as you can see. I love... I love the music. Um, I don't have. I don't often tend to have the music super loud in these videos, but um, this is really good. Um, so as you can see, we have got lots of bowls. We have got some um, teddies there. Oh, it's tricky this game. 
Now, I did play it a little bit earlier on, so hopefully I can um, not massively embarrass myself, but then again, I think I might have already massively embarrassed myself. And I've realised that's not right at all, is it? Th oh. Oh, it's hard, this game. How do I do this? I know what I have to do. Have I got an impossible... Am I, I'm, I'm just going to reset the cart. Um, I think... I think... Oh, the, the presents are different colours. Um, I think it's sort of randomised. Now, I'm not sure if some levels are um, impossible or not. We'll see, won't we? Um, yeah, this is it's definitely randomised. This level looks a lot... I was going to say it looks a lot easier, but I still don't entirely know how I'm going to do it. Oh, how do we do it? But we can't put anything on top of there, because it's a bow. Oh, we're supposed to... Oh, there we go. Is that how we do it? Okay. Right. Yes! I'm getting it, I think. Maybe. <laughs> so, the way that we are playing the game, then, I'm moving side to side to select which item I want to pick up. And you can obviously you can you can kind of see visually what's going on in this game. That's good, isn't it? A, a puzzle game where you can visually see what's going on and understand the game as a result of that. What a nice way of doing things. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, I didn't know you could do that. So that's interesting. So we can assemble the presents in some slightly different orders. I think I've got this one. Yeah. Now I made the mistake before of putting bowls on too soon because you can't stack on top of bowls so the last thing that you want to do is um, have a whole pile of bowls that you can't interact with I think I've got it there we go nice oh the controls in this are so intuitive and smooth have I just screwed it oh I've just screwed it up I've just... I can't do it. God damn it! I was rushing! Seriously, is, can I, like, undo a move? Oh, I wish you could undo moves in this. <laughs> right, I'm going to try it again. Okay? <laughs> I did tell you this is a hard puzzle game, didn't I? Um, I've not managed to complete this um, second level yet. Um, I'm not sure how many attempts I'm at now, but... Um, yeah, it's a... Oh! Didn't think that was going to happen. There's some very interesting mechanics in this game, isn't there? I'm kind of getting the hang of the kind of shuffling around that we have to do. So that's good. Right, okay. It's The hardest part is the beginning of the level. At the beginning of the level, you obviously um, have the least amount of space to manoeuvre and um, that means that you have to kind of know exactly how you're going to do a level. I really want to complete the first level, not only just so I can complete the first level, but so that I can kind of see how the difficulty of the game kind of increases. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. It's okay, we haven't screwed it up completely just yet. But I did that was a mistake. Right. I think be careful. I did it! I did it! Oh my god. Oh wow, it's got the it's got the solitaire ending. Oh, that's glorious. Have you all played original Solitaire, the Windows 95, 98 Solitaire? This is what happened when you complete the game. Brilliant. Uh, start new game. Okay. Is this harder? I mean, it's, it's, it's hard. Is it harder? Although I do feel like I kind of... I'm kind of getting it now. That might have been a mistake, what I just did then. Oh, it's so hard to, to know when you've made an actual mistake. Oh, I think I've got it. I think it's clicked. Don't put it there. 
We don't want to make any presents just... Just... Yet. Oh. Right. There we go. I think I'm getting it. You're watching me learn how to play this game in real time. This is fantastic. I tell you what, this is a good puzzle game. It is making me think. That's what a good puzzle game should should do. Should make you think. I really don't... I'm really afraid of putting bowls on because once you've got a bow on a present, you can't put anything on top of it. And that makes things significantly harder. I think I might have screwed this up already, you know. How am I going to get... Can I put the bow on top? No. Oh, no, I can put bowls on there. It's good. It's okay. I've recovered. There we go. Nice. So there you go. Um, yeah, this just seems... Is it getting harder? I feel like there's less space. This is getting addictive. Which is good for a puzzle game. You want it to be addictive. You want it to be... Um, compulsive um so there you go um present wrapper by the tomster really nice music really nice big spritey graphics i do spritey graphics what does that mean um i do like to see big sprites in pico 8 games you don't often see it i don't think none of my pico 8 games ever have particularly big sprites um so it's really good to see it in here um the graphics are charming. The puzzle mechanics are tricky and fiendish, which makes you think, which is good. And yeah, I love the presentation, the colours. So Christmassy. So Christmassy. Right then, that was um, Present Rapper by the Tomster. Let's move on to our next game. So we can do this, I believe, from the start menu. There we go. Back to bundle. Nice. So there you go. Present wrapper by the Tomster. Check it out. Well, you don't need to check it out. Just go and check out the bundle itself. And then you can check everything out from there. So all these games in one. Whoosh. Next up is What Flakes by Smelly Fish Sticks, a soothing snowflake synth. Now, something interesting that I've just noticed on this game, if you try and play this game in the Pico 8 um, app, the program, it won't work for some reason. You need to play it through the browser, which is um, unusual. That's normally the least compatible. But yeah, I'm going to play this um, project through the browser. So um, just be warned, it does work. You just need to play it in a browser. Let's get it loaded up. Here we are, made for Pico Advent 2023. Um, this uses the mouse. Uh, so What Flakes is a, I don't, wouldn't say it's a game as such, I don't think, um, unless I've missed something entirely. It, um, it appears to just be a little musical instrument, a toy, you might call it. Um, here we go, info. Hello, welcome to What Flakes. They're mysterious creatures that make noise when tapped. Different varieties exist too. Press square to refresh our circle rather to refresh them and press X to return. With controller, tap X or hold. Happy holidays from Smelly. Um, lovely. How do we go back? Right, um, I'm just gonna play the uh, normal version. I think play along, you are supposed to try and, have, um, try and copy what it plays, but that looks really hard. So I'm gonna stick to just showing you this. So um, here, are our, here are our what flakes. Each one that we click on plays this rather interesting. I think this project is using the PCM sound effects in Pico 8, which is a an area of Pico 8. It's fairly new, um, not very well understood. Um, I certainly don't understand it very well. Um, and it lets us um, have kind of digital sounds in Pico 8 rather than Pico 8's normal bleepy bloopy sound chip. Um, what are those? What are those little objects doing up there? So when we click on these um, little characters, you can see they play a note, a kind of lovely glitchy kind of note, and then they sort of swap places, don't they? And as you can see, they all start to sort of fidget around after a while. Now, I really enjoyed playing this earlier on because it reminded me very clearly of the um, Hyperlight Drifter soundtrack by Disaster Piece. Um, if you just wave your mouse wildly, over over the little um what flakes 
it, these all sound like outtakes from Hyperlight Drifter, don't they? Kind of glitchy chip tune, ambient. Could be on Minecraft this music, couldn't it? There's a reason I don't often um, do kind of Pico playtimes about kind of tools like this because there isn't really a lot to say about them. Um, it's just something that's really fun to play around on, but there's not really a lot for me to kind of talk about as such. Uh, I'm going to leave that um, just running for a little bit because I do kind of, I am kind of curious how the objects move back to position. If you leave them long enough, I believe they do kind of go back to that grid. Um, as you can see, the, the sound is um, really cool in this game. Um, it sounds brilliant, and the little characters are nicely animated. And there's enough strange little things just to keep your um, keep your interest. I think. Let's try pressing the um, circle key. We've got this sort of more clanky bell-like sound. That first sound was kind of like a piano, wasn't it? Yeah, you can have lots of fun just playing around with this. Um, we need to get some lo-fi artist to make an entire album using this. And look, the little bubbles going up in the background. What, not sure what sound these guys make. More of a synthesizer kind of sound here. Now, I don't know if that kind of glitchy... Um, kind of interference, what do you call it? Like, I don't know, it's like a kind of buzzing. I don't know if that's meant to be there, but it does add a nice lo-fi aesthetic to things. So um, that, might be a, that might be a deliberate move, it might not be. Either way, it's a nice touch. Mark that off your bingo cards. I really do need to make an official bingo card. I keep talking about it and it doesn't exist. Oh, this is so much fun. Oh, we've got the piano back now. So there appears to be... Yeah, we've got three different sounds, haven't we? So there you go. What Flakes by Smelly Fish Sticks. What a strange little project. What a fun little project. This is what Pico 8 is all about. Weird little games and bits of cool little software like this. Um, so charming, so cute. Ah, oh, you can click on the little guys and they make a little, like a tambourine sound. Oh, that's brilliant. That's really cool. I like this one. Um, I do need to go and play the game though, because I, I mean, I normally play games. This is out of my comfort zone, but as you can see, it's a lot of fun. Go and check it out. So let's go back to the bundle. That was actually quite smooth. Whoosh. Okay, here we are back on the bundle. So we have played Present Rapper by the Tomster. Um, we've just looked at What Flakes by Smelly Fish Sticks. Slay Ride Saga by Xstar. Who's this guy? Who's this clown? Um, this is my game. Um, I'm going to very quickly go through it. I'm not going to do like a proper review of it. That's a little bit self-indulgent. I'll tell you what the game is, though. Um, so that music, that's, weird. that's Walking in the Air, which was featured on The Snowman, a famous British Christmas staple cartoon based on a book by... I can't remember the name. Really nice piece of music, though. So, in this game, um, we need to... Uh, we need to... To even get off the title screen, you need to unlock easy mode. This is what I put in the game instead of a tutorial. So, um, yeah, if you can't even master the controls on the title screen, you can't even play the game. I'm not sure if that was a good design choice or not. Anyway, uh, we've got four levels. Each level is kind of based off my local area. Um, it's set in the fictional postcode of WF18, which would put it somewhere in the vicinity of um, Wakefield, Batley, Morley in West Yorkshire, just to give you an idea as to um, where this game is set. Um, and they've got four levels. Each level is like a different kind of part of the town, I suppose. There was a re I was originally going to put a lot more... I was hoping to have eight levels, but um, I ran out of time. I was hoping to have this whole, like, upgrade system, but again, I ran out of time. I really struggled to complete this game on time. Um, anyway, let's have a look at one of the levels then. 
So the controls are like Flappy Bird. You um, press up to flap around, but you can move freely. Um, there's a lot of particle effects because it's, it's my game. Of course there are particle effects. I never shut up about particle effects. Um, and the idea is, whoops. <laughs> the idea is to um, press X to drop these um, presents into the chimneys. Now, if you're not very good at that, you end up smashing windows, making lots of noise, and you can see there's a noise meter at the top. The noise meter kind of works like a kind of stealth meter, like you might get in um, a stealth em up game, like uh, Metal Gear Solid or such. Yeah, this is like a flying Flappy Bird version of Metal Gear Solid meets Paperboy. Um, yeah, oh, oh dear. Yeah, the throwing, um, throwing gifts around. It's kind of like Paperboy, isn't it? And when you complete all of the um, chimneys on a level, or if you run out of presents, you um, fly off to this screen, tells you how well you did, or how badly you did, and then you can go back to the level select. So how did I do in that? 10 presents delivered, $1,000, nice. Should be pounds there, but Pico 8 doesn't have a pound sign. Um, accuracy bonus, so that happens. The more that you get in a roll, so I must have got quite a few presents in a row there without missing, and that gives you a good accuracy bonus. Uh, three presents were lost, you have to pay for them. Uh, the noise penalty, ooh, that was bad. So because I got into the red alert zone a few times, got quite a big noise penalty. That's eaten to my profit significantly. Uh, property damage, that's broken windows and things. And because I'm uneasy, there's only a, there's no multiplier on my score. That's what normal and hard are all about. But you have to unlock them by being skillful. You can kind of see, I was going to originally make this game a lot more involved. I wanted it to be a kind of upgrade system. So the idea would be that you'd kind of spend the money that you'd earned in a level to upgrade your sleigh so you could carry more presents or something. Um, I don't know if I'll come back to the game and add that in. I kind of, I've kind of streamlined the game down to more of like an arcade experience. Um, I think that might just kind of work better maybe. I don't know. Um, so yeah, if I continued now, I would um, need to go through the other four levels. I should probably put a timer in this game so that it's kind of more speedrun friendly. Because I'm sure you could, um, I'm sure there could be some very skillful speedruns of this game. Anyway, that's enough of me talking about my game. Let's get on to playing someone else's games. Back to the um, bundle. <laughs> So, we've played um, Present Rapper by the Tomster, we've played What Flakes, the Soothing Snowflake Synth, we've played Sleigh Ride Saga by some, some moron called X-Star, now we're going to play Rap and Find again by Smelly Fish Sticks. Smelly Fish Sticks was being an absolute, um, absolute hero in this bundle, making two projects. Um, so this is a chill memory matching game. Let's load it up. Here we are, Rap and Find. Nice, um, nice rotation going on there. Nice music. So, um, we can press circle to start or change mode. So we've got reveal mode. What are the different modes? Set. Uh, the high score is two. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I, I'm sure I scored better than that. Maybe. Let's stick with um, default mode then. Let's see if I can beat a high score of two. That's not super impressive, is it? Round one. So, uh, yeah, this is a kind of, um, oh, I don't know what you call these games. You have, to, you have to, like, look and remember where things are. I had this exact game on my uh, Nokia, so that is a pastry, I think. Oh, this music. Mm. Okay, we've got a tank, a bun. Hey, there we go. Do you see? Do you see how it works? You know this game, don't you? You're familiar. I've just noticed those, um, those leaves... Those are fractal patterns. What an interesting detail to add. Oh, we're cooking with gas now. What's that? A cup? Hey, there we go. Cool. Round two. Fight. Um, I think maybe the score is what round you get to. Maybe this is all I... I think I may have only got to round two. Let's see if I can beat that. And see if I get a high score of three. Oh dear, not so good. Oh, there's one. We can do that. 
Oh, we're doing okay. Have I already had that? I can't remember. Yes! I am on a knife edge here. Oh, there's two buttons. <gasps> no! Reach level two. This is hard. It's another puzzle game that's really difficult. The, um... <laughs> The solitaire game at the beginning was hard. Right. Let's... Oh, it actually shows you at the beginning. Oh, that makes it significantly easier. Um, let's... I should probably pay attention to that, shouldn't I? That's kind of important. I didn't see this top row. Anyway, it's fine, apparently. Round clear. Nice! Nice! Okay, I think I know what I'm doing here, so I can at least remember where those parrots were. That narrows it down. You join me in the editing section of Pico Playtime. This is me trying to use Blender to edit my videos. And I um, I only just realised that um, this sprite here, which I've been calling a parrot, and I'm not alone in this, in thinking that this is a parrot, um, it's a Santa hat. It's clearly a Santa hat. Look, it's a Christmas game, and there are Santa hats. I thought it was a red parrot. <laughs> I do apologise for how, throughout my review of this game, I'm talking about parrots. There are no parrots in this game. I'm now starting to doubt every other thing that I said about the sprites in this game. Maybe I've got something else wrong. I hope not. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know about that. I do apologise. Anyway, back to the video. I am going to have to guess some of these other ones, though. Hopefully I'll not run out of... Um... I think I'm okay, aren't I? <gasps> no! No! <laughs> oh, I was rushing! Right. Okay, I think I've memorised it. Maybe. No! <laughs> yes. Yeah, there we go. Right, okay. This is testing my memory. Right, birds, 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 blue, blue, blue. Right, okay. I can't remember where the parrots were. Oh, we're okay, I think. No, no. Right, we good. Yes, I've beaten my high score. I've scored three. Um, okay, so there was two chickens in the top corners. There was some parrot activity down here, I think. That was lucky. I didn't know that I was trying to do that. Oh, I can't remember where the candy canes were. Now, I think, yeah, there we go. Oh, which one? I've, oh, I've done it wrong. Right, we're okay. I'm, I'm, I'm doing real well now. I've got it. I figured it out. There's a lot of parrots on this one. Right, so there's pa gingerbread men there. Can I just say, the graphics in this are really nice. I like the animation. I love the music. Very strange music. Oops, that was a mistake. Uh... No! <laughs> oh, reach level four. Let's see if my high score is four now. Hang on, back to, let's reset the level. There you go, so my high score is four. I've doubled my high score. Um, yeah, this is not gonna be a very high scoring game, is it? Let's see what um, the other mode, oops. Let's see what the other mode was. I could press the right button. So, set mode. Let's see what is going on in this, then. Wrap, wrap and find. A um, memory game. This seems the same. Oh. Oh, this is significantly harder. This doesn't show you what... It doesn't show you what's in when you click on the... Right. This is, like, hard mode. Okay, I think I've got that. You have to kind of remember the shapes, don't you, I think? 
This is this is much harder. It doesn't show you what is in the box when you lift it up. Although it doesn't seem to be hurting my progress. Wow. Oh, I've gained a heart. Nice. So if you gain if you do a level perfectly, you gain a heart. How cool is that? Oh, instead of that, my wonder at gaining a heart is probably now going to cost me several hearts because I wasn't paying attention to where those things were. You need to be paying attention in this game. So yeah, the um the the, the fractal leaves, oh, that's a really cool touch. Um again, really nice presentation in this. Look at the um I believe you call it easing. Look at the easing of the cursor when you move. Lovely smooth animation there. Just little bit the little touches like that. It's quality, you see. It just makes the quality that little bit better. All these little improvements everywhere add up to a big difference, a big quality. Look, when we select a present, it, it rises up. Look, it's, it's all animated. Very smooth. I'm talking to try and avoid dealing with the fact that I don't know where anything is. And I'm guessing... Oh, that was lucky. That wasn't as lucky. Oh, oh this is so much harder than the first way of doing it. <laughs> right then, uh, my top tip for you then is to um, play in play in um, reveal mode. It's it's a lot easier. Things are hard enough already. You don't need to make it any harder. Uh, so there you go. That's Wrap and Find by Smelly Fish Sticks. A um, very well made, very well produced um, classic memory kind of puzzle game. I don't know what you call that style of game. It's the kind of thing you have at a fairground to um, liberate you from your pocket money. And it's got such bizarre music. Really cool. Nice Christmassy graphics as well. All the um, traditional kind of Christmas presents and things like the gingerbread men, the parrots. We've all had a parrot for Christmas, haven't we? And a chicken. Um, yeah, may maybe not so Christmassy after all, but still very cool. Anyway, let's um, have a nook. Have a nook. Let's have a look at the next game. Okay, so we have looked at Present Rapper by The Tomster, What Flakes by Smelly Fish Sticks, Sleigh Ride Saga by Some Guy, uh, Rap and Find by Smelly Fish Sticks, and now we are going to look at The Polar Distress by Beaky Bird, a music puzzle with menacing polar bears. Um, this is the second time I'm having a go at this game. I, uh, I earlier tried it and um, couldn't make any headway, so I'm just going to pay a little bit more attention and hopefully make more progress so when we load the game up we have this description here after de after a devastating encounter with thunder snow santa finds himself in the middle of the north atlantic fortunately he landed on an ice floe unfortunately he landed in the middle of rehearsals for the norse earth sign merriment band santa must pass an audition before he escapes on rudolph flows play chords the harp seal knows the tune press the arrow keys to leap or circle to cue Rudolph. Let's see if I can do it a bit better this time. Now, we need to watch what the seal does. The seal shows you where you should be going to next. So let's watch, see what happens. Right off the bat, you can see that the um, graphics in this game are very striking, very um, interesting. We have got Santa is a red triangle. Uh, we have got a ra rather round circular polar bear and some very geometric ice flows. Gives the game a really uh, distinctive look. And the, the sound as well is truly bizarre in the best possible way. And I am trying to figure out how to do jingle bells. I think there's something really obvious that I'm missing. So um, please don't scream at, the, at your screen what it is that I'm missing because I can't hear you, I'm afraid. And it does make you look a little bit mad. Let's see if I can do it then. There's the first note. Now, how do I do it again? I don't want to press... No. <laughs> no, that was the wrong button. Let's try that again. Okay. No! I did it wrong again. X. Let's try pressing X.
Well, I don't know what you do. <laughs> I don't know how to do anything. Right, I'm going to try using the keyboards for this because I think the controller might not be helping me. No, that wasn't right either. I'm not doing very well, am I? This is, this is hard. Um. Um. Right, this is so weird. So, I did better then. You, you seem to have to, like, leap off the notes. Is that it? So if I go... So I need to stay here. So I go away, and then come back. Yeah, stay there. So now I need to go to the triangle kind of look to the right of the candy cane. <laughs> What's happening? Right. I'm getting more progress, but I'm... I'm still fundamentally not understanding what I'm supposed to do here. <laughs> I mean, presentation-wise... I'm loving it. I just, I don't know what I'm supposed to do though. Right, so I need to go. Um, where's he gone? Oh dear, no exit, pursued by a bear. Replay. What? What happened? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Hmm. Begin. <laughs> I am baffled by this one. I, I'm at a loss. It seems good. It seems well made. I just, I just don't know what I'm doing. I'm well confused. Right. Um. Let's move back to the bundle then. I think. Um. Back to the bundle. So we've been through um several games now. Present Rapper, What Flakes, Slay Ride Saga, Rap and Find, The Polar Distress. That was distressing, and puzzling. And next, it's Santa's Fulfillment Center by Oak Curtains and Tiny Evil Wizard. Um, some very familiar names there. Um, I'll, I'll put links in the description. I remember. Um, help toys reach their wrapping by controlling contraptions. This sounds fascinating. Oh, yes. Sleigh Ride. I nearly put this into my game. I'm glad I didn't. That would be embarrassing, wouldn't it, if we all had the same music? Slay Ride, classic. Uh, Leroy Anderson was, um, according to my music teacher, was a, um, a second-rate trombone player and uh, an even worse composer. He wasn't a fan. I quite like it now. Anyway. <laughs> Santa's Fulfillment Center. Let's press a button then. Nice graphics, by the way. Look at all these levels. Oh, this is good. This is really good. I just pressed the wrong button though. Right, let's um there we go. What do we do? Animation. This is kind of like um Right, this is gonna be like lemmings, I think, isn't it? Okay, let's see what we're doing this one now. Thank you. 
pause. Oh, I see. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, this is like lemmings, isn't it? So we have um, we have these kind of automatic elf robot things, and we need to help direct them in a timely manner. Okay. I wonder what the candy cane does. Guess we'll find out, won't we? Oh. Do we have a key? How's that? Why can't I open that one? What's going on? I've done something wrong, but I don't know what. Let's try that again. Maybe I, do I only have so many energy points? Is that it? Is that like power there? Oh, I see. Right, I think I get it now. So we have to... Right, I get it. So, we have a kind of amount of power up here that we um, have to manage. So I only have one power, but I needed two power for that level. Right, I get it. You see, the game has got a good user interface. I can work out how to do things in the game just by looking at the interface and trying to pay attention. This is interesting. Oh, what do I have to do here? Oh, this level's enormous! And if, can we wind these guys up a bit more, I wonder? Okay, so... I think those two are going to manage to do that. So now if I let the next one through... Okay, this is all looking good. Shut that door. Open that. Oh, I like this. This is good. The game plays a little bit on the slow side, but it kind of needs to be slow so that you can understand what's happening. Uh, maybe if there was like a fast forward button. I wonder how possible it is to, um, to do... Oh, this looks difficult. Okay. No! <laughs> no! Uh, right, I have lost one. That's probably going to impact my um, performance, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, that's really bad. I screwed it up. I don't think I'm going I'm to have enough energy now, am I? Let's see. No, no, no! Ah, oh, can we restart the level? Right, reset the level. Nice menus, by the way. Look at how nice and animated that is. Look, we've got animation on to know animation to tell you which menu item is selected. So good. So much more polished than my own game. Right, let's try doing it better this time. We don't need to use that there. Look, you see, this is already looking better. We've made far fewer mistakes already. This is good. Right, so that needs... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, this is good. This is all good. Right, we'll retract that bridge so that we have enough energy up here. Oh, oh, that was tense. You know what I said about the game being too slow? I take that back. That was quite demanding. Did it in 44 seconds, nice. This is a good puzzle game, isn't it? I've done the first few levels there. Um, I think, is there another project after this? Let's see. Let's have a look. I think there's one more, isn't there? That was a good one, that. Um, so yeah, Santa's Fulfillment Center. Um, I spent less time on that game, despite it being really good, because um, the... Yeah, I didn't want to spoil too much of the game for you there. It's a puzzle game, after all. Um, yeah, very kind of Lemmings-like in the gameplay. 
Um, an interesting spin. Now look, oh, we have got to the end. What a shame. Um, more, more. Uh, check back tomorrow for more. Yes, the way this bundle works, Every day, uh, a couple more projects are getting um, added to the game. Um, I believe Zep is doing a game for the bundle, and um, Tom Hall is also doing a game. I do apologise if I've forgotten anyone else who's doing it. The, the Discord is very busy. Uh, there's a Discord for this. Uh, so there you go. That is the Pico 8 Christmas Holiday Bundle 2023. A whole bunch of games of varying, um, varying style, although there is quite a lot of puzzle games, which I'm surprised at, um, by a variety of developers, uh, myself included. Um, so yeah, if you are interested in any of these Christmas games, well, go and check it out over on Splore or on the BBS. Um, warning about... Uh, where is it? What Flakes is um, What Flakes the game? Um, that doesn't seem to work so much in Pico 8 natively, but it does work if you play it through the browser. Very strange that one. Um, so yeah, go and check out these wonderful Christmas games. It's uh, Christmas Eve tomorrow, so you've got tomorrow and then Christmas Day. You could probably play the games after that, can't you? It's um, still kind of Christmassy, isn't it? Um, maybe not play the games if you're watching this video in July. Um, might kind of um, might kind of ruin the summer mood, but it's for, for me. It's um, I'm very Christmassy at the moment, as you may have guessed by what I'm wearing around my neck, giving myself a suntan. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video today. A little bit of a longer one, trying to get through all of these games, but I wanted to, um, even though I um, kind of skirted over so much. I wish I'd spent a bit more time on, but then the video would be hours and hours long. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and um, I hope to see you again very soon. But before I go, two announcements. One, I have started a Pico, a Pico Playtime Discord. There is a Discord server now which you are uh, welcome to join to talk about Pico 8 games, any games that I've covered on the channel, any games that you think, ooh, he might be interested in those. I should tell him. Please do, because I love getting tips, because it points me in the right direction. Uh, so yeah, come and join um, the Pico Playtime Discord server. You're more than welcome. And a little bit of self-promotion here. It's Christmas time, everyone. I've got a, a Christmas sale on of all my games. I'll put a link to that in the description. Uh, there'll be a link to the um, sale over on Itch. You can get, let me get this right now. All the games are 50% off. That includes Slay Ride Saga, by the way. Um, and you can get all of my games as a bundle for $10. Um, 10 US dollars, uh, which is many games for $10. But also, why not check out the other Pico 8 developers who are probably having sales at the same time right now on Itch? Because Itch has um, various tags that you can search. Why not check out the uh, Pico 8 tag and just see what you can see on there? Uh, go and buy some cool Pico 8 games. It's Christmas after all. It's a time of miracles and generosity and buying indie games on um, platforms on the internet. Uh, thank you very much for watching once again, and I hope to see you again very soon. Goodbye.